Hello students, welcome to another lecture of physics and I am Sir Murtaza from Al Murtaza School. So let's start. So first of all, what we are going to do, we will look onto the agenda of this lecture video that what topics or what SLOs we are going to cover, we are going to cover in this lecture. So we are going to cover the following SLOs and the SLO is identify the measuring instruments. Okay. So this is the only SLO which we are going to discuss in this uh, lecture video, which is to identify the measuring instruments. Okay, so what is it? Let's look on to that. So first of all, uh, we will look on to the definition of measuring instruments. So as the name indicates that it is those instruments which is used to measure. Okay, measure what? Like, uh, let's look on to the definition. So the definition is Measuring instruments are used to measure various physical quantities such as length, mass, time, volume, etc. You know, very simple that measuring instruments are used to measure various physical quantities, which includes either length, mass, time, volume, etc. So in order to measure uh, either length, mass, time or volume, the instruments that we use are called measuring instruments. Okay. Now we shall describe some of the measuring instruments. So now here we are going to look on to some of the measuring instruments one by one. So first of all, uh, we have the measuring instrument, which is called as the meter rule or simple meter ruler. So here is this diagram. So you may be very much familiar with this. This is simple a scale. This is a, a simple scale. Okay. Of 100 centimeter and you have seen it uh, various times, you know, during studies or even in laboratories. So this instrument is called as the meter rule or meter ruler. Okay. Okay. One thing I just want to, wanted to clear uh, to you guys that when I, whenever you listen the word, the meter rule, so your mind just uh, tell you that there would be some rule. So this is not a rule. This is a device which is called as the meter rule. Okay. Why it is called as meter rule? Because it is of one meter or simply you could uh, call it as meter ruler or maybe you can call it as ruler. Okay, so uh, now we will talk some, uh, some uh, more about meter ruler or the meter rule. So a meter rule is a length measuring instrument. Okay, it is commonly used in the laboratories to measure length of an object or distance between two points. So a uh, meter rule is used for measuring length. Okay, and it is commonly used in laboratories to measure length of an object or sometimes it is used to measure distance between two points. You know, sometimes it happens that you have to measure that distance between two points. For example, this is a point and this is a point and you have to measure the uh, distance between these two points. For this purpose also we use meter rule. Okay. Then it is one meter long equal to hundred centimeter. Each centimeter is divided into 10 small divisions called millimeter. Okay. So they said that it is one meter long and one meter is equal to hundred centimeter and each centimeter is also further divided into 10 small divisions, which is called as millimeter. Okay. Then thus one millimeter is the smallest reading that can be taken using a meter rule and it, and is called its least count. So by using a meter rule, the smallest reading you can take is one millimeter. Okay. And this is also called as the least count. What does least count means? Least count means the smallest reading you can take from an instrument. Okay, so from meter rule, the smallest reading from uh, the smallest reading we can take from this instrument is one millimeter. So its least count is one millimeter. Okay, this is about the meter rule. Let's move on to some other measuring instruments. Now we have measuring tape. So what? How does a measuring tape look uh, looks like? So this is the figure. Uh, here you have see uh, you have been shown the meter uh, the measuring tape. Okay. And this measuring tape you have also seen in uh, your house. Okay, so let's talk about this. So measuring tapes are also used to measure length in meters and centimeters. It is commonly used by blacksmith and carpenters. Okay, so again, measuring tape is also used to measure length and commonly it is used by blacksmith and carpenters. Okay, further, a measuring tape consists of a thin and long strip of cotton, metal or plastic generally 10 meter, 20 meter, 50 meter or 100 meter long. So here they have uh, been uh, told, uh, they have, they told you about its, uh, its structure that it consists of a thin and long strip of cotton, metal or, pl metal or plastic, 
generally it is of 10 meter, 20 meter, 50 meter, 100 meter long. So if you uh, differentiate this by meter rule, so the biggest difference is uh, in the meter rule or the ruler, you can only measure the length uh, of one meter, but by using measuring tape, you can measure length of either 10 meters, 20 meters, 50 meters or 100 meters. Okay, so these are the two instruments which is used to measure length. First was the meter rule and the second is the measuring tape. Let's look on to some other instruments. And it is also marked in centimeter as well as in inches. So a meter from uh, sorry from a measuring tape, uh, you can also measure length in centimeters as well as in inches. So now we are going to talk about other instrument which is vernier caliper. So vernier caliper here is the figure of vernier caliper. Okay, this is the vernier caliper for you. So and I just want to tell you that um, you know we use vernier caliper in our experiment. So when when we will talk about the experiment or the practical that we are going to do, so we will elaborate it furthermore. Uh, but in this video, we will just talk about uh, its main points. Okay, not too much elaboration is required. So a vernier caliper, an accuracy greater than one millimeter can be obtained by using vernier caliper. The biggest advantage of vernier caliper is you can get more accurate result okay so if you want to get a result uh, you know an accuracy greater than one millimeter so we use vernier caliper okay then a vernier caliper consists of two jaws one is a fixed jaw with main scale uh, attached to it the other jaw is movable jaw so here you can see that the vernier caliper has two jaws okay it has two jaws one is a fixed jaw and other is a movable jaw this is the fixed jaw this is the movable jaw, okay? This is the main scale, and this small scale is the vernier scale, okay? Then the least count of vernier caliper is 0.01 centimeter or 0.1 millimeter. So the least count means the smallest reading that vernier caliper can take is 0.1 millimeter, okay? So the advantage of vernier caliper is that you can take uh, a reading up to 0.1 millimeter or 0.01 centimeter, okay? So this is vernier caliper. Let's move on to the next measuring instrument. The next measuring instrument we have is screw gauge. Okay, so how does a screw gauge looks like? It looks like this. Okay, this is a screw gauge. And again, we have a practical or an experiment in which we will use screw gauge. So when we will do that thing, so we will talk uh, about screw gauge in a, uh, in a very uh, elaborate manner. Okay, uh, so let's talk about it a little more. So a screw gauge is an, is an instrument used to measure length with accuracy greater than vernier caliper okay so the advantage of screw gauge is again it is used to measure length okay but the accuracy this time is greater than vernier caliper how let's look on to this it is also called as a micrometer screw gauge uh, this instrument is also called as a micrometer screw gauge then a simple screw gauge consists of a u-shaped metal frame with a metal stud at its one end so here uh, it has they have talked about its construction that a simple screw gauge consists of a u-shaped metal frame with a metal stud at its one end okay so this is the figure of screw gauge and in the last the least count for a screw gauge is 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.001 centimeter so the difference between screw gauge or vernier caliper and vernier caliper is that uh, the least count of screw gauge is 0 0.001 uh, 0 0.01 millimeter or 0 0.001 centimeter it means that it gives more accurate result than vernier caliper okay so this is about the screw gauge let's talk about some other measuring instruments so here we will be talking about physical balance okay up till now whatever measuring instrument we have talked about that are used to measure length but the physical balance is used to measure mass okay so how does the physical balance look like? It looks like this, okay? And again, you have seen this in your laboratory uh, that how does it look like? So this is a physical balance. Let's talk about this. A physical balance is used in the laboratory to measure the mass of various objects by comparison. So here, uh, physical balance is used to measure mass and what mechanism we use? We use comparison, okay? Then, it consists of a beam resting at the center on a fulcrum. The beam carries scale pan over the hooks on either side. Then unknown mass is placed on the left pan. So here they have talked about its construction and they, and they have said that 
uh, the unknown mass you know the, the mass that we wanted to measure is being kept on the left of uh, on the left pen okay so this is physical balance uh, and again this is an old instrument uh, you know uh, now nowadays we use electronic balances which gives uh, directly uh, the mass of uh, of the object uh, by simply giving it the number okay but again you should be aware of the physical balance physical balance is used to measure mass and it is the mechanism that we use is by using comparison okay now we have stopwatch okay now stopwatch is used to measure time okay now we have two types of stop stopwatch one is the mechanical stopwatch okay which is being shown in your screen and the other is the digital stopwatch okay now let's talk about this a stopwatch is used to measure the time interval of an event simply if you wanted to measure the time of a uh, time interval of an event we use stopwatch okay then there are two types of stopwatches mechanical and digital the first figure is uh, mechanical uh, this is mechanical stopwatch and this is digital uh, digital stopwatch then a stopwatch uh, a mechanical stopwatch can measure a time interval up to a minimum of 0.1 seconds while digital stopwatch commonly used in laboratories can measure a time interval as small as 0.01 seconds so definitely digital stopwatches are much more accurate and easy as compared to uh, the mechanical stopwatches so here uh, we have uh, here they have written that a mechanical stopwatch can measure a time interval up to 0.1 second while digital stopwatch can measure time interval up to 0.01 seconds so here you can say that digital the digital stopwatch is much more accurate than the mechanical stopwatch okay so this was about the stopwatch we use stopwatch in order to uh, measure the time interval of an event okay now in the last we have measuring cylinder okay so how is uh, a, what is a measuring cylinder this is the figure of the measuring cylinder again you have seen this in the laboratory so what is its purpose let's talk about this so a measuring cylinder is a glass or transparent plastic cylinder okay uh, actually a measuring cylinder is made up of glass or transparent plastic cylinder okay it has a scale along its length that indicates the volume in ml okay if you look here there is a scale okay and there is written some numbers and this numbers indicates the volume in ml okay so it has a scale along its length that indicates the volume in ml so it means that measuring cylinder is used to measure the volume okay now it has different capacities from 100 ml to 2500 ml so it depends if uh, normally uh, normally uh, in the laboratories you have you may find uh, that uh, measuring cylinder, sorry it is not to 2500 ml it is 250 ml uh, there is a mistake here this is 250 ml so it has different capacities uh, from 100 ml to 250 ml you may find measuring cylinders which is of 100 ml you know the maximum volume you can measure is 100 ml or you could find it uh, you can find a measuring cylinder where you can find the volume of a substance to 250 ml okay uh, please correct this this is not 2500 ml 2500 ml would be very big long a very big cylinder this is 250 ml okay so this was about the measuring cylinder a measuring cylinder is used to measure volume and this is how a measuring cylinder looks like okay so this is it for this video in this video lecture we have talked about the measuring instruments and we have talked about six different measuring instruments okay so this is it for this video now inshallah uh, we will be uh, soon meeting soon meet in our next video so till then allah hafiz